Hey guys, welcome back. This is Origins on Feed the Beast, and today, um, we've had a little bit of work done since the last episode. Um, I guess first things first, um, this mob grinder, absolutely horrible. We got eight layers, I'll show you here. So it just goes up eight layers. And uh, I've been using it trying to get creepers, but it's so slow, my goodness. After like 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, um, I use a health potion to kill the zombies and the skeletons. And then I close this off so that no new mobs fall in. And then the creepers are left. And then I can use this sword, which is Soul Sealer 4, with Vorpal 2 and Sharpness 4, which gets me 5 kills per creeper shard. Or for a creeper shard, it gives me 5 kills per kill. Um, so, been kind of doing that, like if I have to AFK, I've just been coming here and doing that, but it's so slow, like, out of 10 to 20 minutes waiting, I only get like 6, maybe 7 creepers, so it's absolutely horrible. So what I've been doing is at nighttime, I run around with these quantum suit leggings, and I'm running around with my sword, and I'm just killing creepers as best I can, and I here will get you... A, a good number so 514 that's about a thousand uses and it takes two hits to kill to kill a creeper and I've used it on some other mobs and from the start I'm up to 996 out of 1024 so almost there so that's why I brought you guys in just to see me get a tier 5 creeper shard um, but yeah it's taken a hefty toll on my sword here but uh once I get a few more spawns in there I'll do that I also want to explain what I've got here. So I got this new portal gun. Oh, and uh, I turned the sound off because I was just AFK there. Um, wrong button. So I've made two other portal guns, Peabody's and portal or potato gun. So I made those two just so I can have some extras, and I got seven other stars left over to make other things. I think we're going to start making some. I do this portal spawners. A portal spawner in use with wireless redstone. I, do this. I think there's wireless redstone in here. Wireless transceiver. Um, wireless sniffer. Wireless remote. Wireless trans. Wireless receiver. Okay, so with the wireless remote, I think you can set different frequencies and you can activate the portal spawners. And what the portal spawners do is uh, they allow you to use the same portal but to activate it at different times. So if you have your wireless remote you could activate like signal 1 and uh, your home portal would pop up like if you had that on signal 1. And then you could set it to signal 3 to set up somewhere else. And you can just place portals around which you would only need one portal gun but um, I kind of forgot about that while I was making them, and I really wanted this one, the potato gun, just because I love the way it looks. Here. I just love the potato on the end, so I had to get it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've just been running around. I'll show you. It's just so fun running around with the diamond sword. Wee and I started planting some acacia trees, because like I said, we're going to be moving that. I'm probably going to move it over here. I think he got the farm set back up I'm not quite sure if he's got that but he's also built this castle over here which looks like it it looks like it's for Thomcraft but right now it's jetpack accessible only so you can only get up to these to that layer and that layer by jetpack so he might fix that might not I don't know but I think he did an awesome job it looks awesome I love it but yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I've been working on the script shard, so here we go. Hopefully I have enough. This is off. We got about 29 minutes left or so. So he's in the back. One more. Go. Whoops. Well, that was the first time for everything. It's never happened before. There we go. That's all done. Have a tier 5 creeper shard. 
gunpowder. I'll just show you. This is how much gunpowder I've gotten. I think I have another stack somewhere from running around, but almost three stacks right there. And I don't have to do that anymore. I am so happy. 27 creeper heads. I'll go show you the personal safe. Up here. Forty-three creeper heads, loving it. Sixteen of those, yes. He used uh, twenty-eight wither heads, I believe. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven wither heads. So there we go, creeper. All that's left is the spider, and you really don't need eyes right now. So finally, you can almost set these up. One, two, three, four, five. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, and uh, here's this setup. So I brought some advanced solar panels over. They're powering this, which these redstone engine redstone engines have some circuit boards in. Neither one's the same. Um, and then I got redstone energy conduits going to each of these, so the lines don't explode like they were with the golden things. But during the daytime, one stays filled up. And that one stays filled up. So probably want to make another redstone energy cell. Probably want to make two or three actually, and just store them here and uh, let them fill up. But if you see it's got too much energy that's coming in, so I'm actually going to remove this and make sure it's this one. Yeah, there. That won't be generating quite as much, and the power should. Balance out a little bit better. But yeah. So none of this is the same. I'll just show you what we got. So in index here we got tons of bees and this thing usually crashes me, so kinda wanted to stay in there long. Got a bunch of peers. Um Yeah. Running out of where is it right here? Peer princesses. Um, and by running out, I mean like not enough. <laughs> so got to start melting them down into. Well, first we got to start getting some royal jelly, so that one I can make an alviary, alviary, and that requires this. I have industrious bees which I've started, and they're producing the pollen, and you need royal jelly. So, got to get some better bees. I'll show you what I got here in the database. So, you got forest minerals, common, cultivated, and noble. So, industrious is the ones that produce pollen. Um, nothing really too much above that. So, still got to work on that, but got to move this first. And this is going to be the setup. Um, when we have it over there, so I'm going to lay up five in a row. I don't think this will work right here because they're blocked right here. So probably test it out. Um, let's test this out. I just want to know if that'll work, because if that works, oh, it's nighttime too. If that works, then that'll be awesome, because then I can use the same pattern. But I really do like this. Yeah, sky obstructed, so it doesn't work. That's what I thought. Alright, well, I'm, I may just have to change the pattern up, but I'm going to have mushrooms, lily pads, and vines along with flowers along I just haven't planted the flowers as of yet um, so that's how that it'll probably change I don't know how I'm going to do it but I kinda wanna set it up where they're in like three or fives and then that way I can just I can set them up a lot easier um, this thing is still running this thing has produced so much Oh my goodness. Here, I'll show you this. And 
I've ever used a ton of the seeds for air seed oil. Which is a centrifuge squeezer. So yeah, I had another 10 seed oil capsules. I'm not sure if you guys know how much it is, but each seed, like if this bar is a thousand, it produces like 10 to 25 per each seed. So you need something like a hundred seeds or no, probably not a hundred, probably something like you need 25 to 30 seeds per each of these bars. It seems like and it doesn't really fill up that fast. So you can certainly use seeds for that, but we got seeds full and then that seeds. We got wheat full, wheat full, wheat full, wheat half full. And a lot of this, I'm not sure about this, this thing just does not seem to be working. So what I've been doing is just kind of been manually doing it, like this, and then once I'm done, I'll just throw a sack in there. So that's how that's been going. Um, what else? Put that away. Uh, plan of these just because once I tear this down, well, I want to kind of start building while it's up just so I can get a, the gist of it. Um, I'm not sure what Calum did, but a lot of the stuff is missing. Like, when I came here, it looks like he took some of the Zycraft, but a bunch of other stuff, maybe. I'm not quite sure if he did that. Also, it seems like dusts are gone and a lot of iron ingots and stuff like that. Nothing too major loss. Oh, and our quarry. My goodness, I didn't realize how big I set it. But it's getting a ton and ton of materials. So set villagers in here. That way we can use the doors, finally. And the ones all in there died. I don't know if they got moved or if they died, but they're not there anymore. So anyways, let me show you this. Um, this is awesome. We're producing so many materials. When I came here, this was full. That still has one. This 1,000 barrel was full, and we're only down here around level 30. Okay? We're <laughs> only level 30. We got... Like 27 more levels to go, so I gotta get another one of these barrels because 63,400. If I do this here quick, watch this. Also, gotta set up more engines for next time because each one of these three are full. Well, not that one. And not that one. Okay, maybe just gotta set up more panels or something. But they, this can go a lot faster. Look how many. I took two. Um, about 128 stacks out. And it's nearly full again. And this. It's half of that. And when I came here. Had. Oh, wrong one. We got a ton there too. This was nearly full. I mean, look how much that is. Had six stacks of copper. And then I've just been taking some ores out of here that I can smelt. Um, lead. Even most of the things there. Just checking for some iridium. Do -do. Do -do -do. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, I mean, we're getting a ton and ton of materials from this. Just can't wait till this finishes. So this one is full. I didn't have enough room last time I came to grab everything. Oh, we do have iridium. Okay. Nice. That's exactly what I was looking for. Um, looks like I grabbed that one. Looks like I also grabbed that one. Lead, tin, silver, iron. Looks like I grabbed that one. These ones I haven't grabbed. Or if I did, 
Grabbing all this. And let's see what made it to the end chest. <laughs> like nothing. Yeah. You just look at that, it's awesome. I don't know how big this thing is, but it's huge. <laughs> Not going to make it quite this big next time. Because, oh my goodness, so much cobble. And so much gravel, too. I took out about a half a stack of cobble. Er, of gravel, sorry. Oh! Sometimes that happens. You just kind of glitch through. But So, that was four stacks. So that's two stacks of copper. And there's the other copper. So, not enough hoppers. Look at that. This is insane. So I just stored the leftovers here. And uh, for this, oops, getting another 64 redstone ones. So that's redstone chipsets. Got 64 redstone iron chipsets and 32 autarkic gates. Here's this. Got a bunch of scrap, got nine UU in there. No scrap left in here. Got three plus an iridium in a little bit of extra scrap. And so this thing is running fairly nice. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So I'm just keeping that on. Um, what else? I think I showed everything in here. Oh, enchanted this. Got a fortune pick. Still would like to find um one with a silk touch on it. But I used the Soul Stealer 3 book. And it seems that Callum took or whoops, that wasn't a ender chest. Took one of these. So I just want to do this again. Getting mad. I'm different. Xenidius was punished by the gods for giving the gift of knowledge to me. He was cast into the bowels of the earth and pecked by birds. One of them is missing when I logged on. I'm different. I'm different. So it doesn't really matter. I made a ton of them. And they're easy to make. I just like having them up there. I'm different. But yeah, that's that. And it seems that some of the villagers died as well. I mean, uh, where am I with that? Oh, crap. You know what? Hmm. How am I going to do this? If I do it fast enough, none of them can get up. There we go. I'll uh, put this back in here. Maybe if I had dirt, I don't know. Ooh. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Not quite. Okay. But yeah. Um, I showed you the solar panels last time. Added some extras. So I'm just going to put these solar panels up. Crap, I didn't have that. I must have put it in here. Where's my other jetpack? Hmm. Oh, there it is. So here we go. Um... Again, sorry, I'm not really doing too much again today, but uh, it was just an update video for today again, because again, I've done quite a bit off camera, so um, kind of hard to, if we just didn't do an update video, or if I didn't, I'm not sure if Callum is, if he is, 
you can view his channel as well. Well, you should view his channel either way, if he's not, or if he is. You see it from his perspective, not just mine. Which is awesome, there we go. So yeah, I pulled out, I can show you there, 18 stacks from that gravel. Yeah, that's basically what's been going on, so uh, pull this back. Not really too sure, I guess I'll have cut it here, and uh, once I move the honeycomb, I'll show you guys that. I'm also going to make it one smaller. So right now, from that edge to that edge, it's 13. I'm going to make it 11, so it'll be right there to right there. So I'll make it just look a little bit better. Other than that, um, that'll be it for this episode, but like I said, I'm going to show that once it's moved. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll be back with you guys shortly. Hey guys, I haven't quite gotten my honeycomb moved yet, but I came to the core to check it out, and as you can hear from right here, and you can see it's starting to, FPS is starting to drop, I came to the core to check it out, and, uh, this constant explosion happened when I came through. I didn't know what it was. Came to check. All the cobble barrels were full. And I guess there must be just thousands and thousands of cobble in the pipe itself. And uh, it doesn't have anywhere to go, so it's exploding. I turned the engines off. I stopped the quarry. But watch this. So I got my longfall boots on. Watch what happens when I fall on top of it. <laughs> get blasted up to like 200. I got up to about 350 was my highest. Let me try again. Wow, oh, that one was only 150. But yeah, so I brought this <laughs> extra dimensional storage. I'm gonna put it on here. Hopefully it works. Oh yes, all the items are going inside of it. It's not updating, but... It looks like all the items are going inside. So hopefully that stops it soon. I'm going to go back through the portal, see if it updates it. But yeah, that was just crazy. Oh, do you want me to go through? Oh, it doesn't matter. It should update by the time I go through. Alright, coming back through. Oh, yep, it stopped. Yay, no more explosion. So apparently Aww. you get a constant <laughs> explosion if that thing overfills. <laughs> Oh, it's still going. Is so it? apparently there's still, well, it's like still hundreds of stacks in there. I'm up to over 400 stacks if that thing's right and it just keeps going. Get rid of that. So the number I see right now is 572. <laughs> Holy crap. 594. Wow. 609. Yeah, so there was probably just a couple hundred stacks in those four <coughs> pipes going in a continuous circle. Uh, just a lesson. Alright, well, I'm going to turn this back on because that's safe. But geez, so much cobble. Move out of my way. Turn it back on. Look at this. If I go here, look at what level we're at. Uh, oh. Let's see, i got to swim down here. Let's see. <laughs> that was just crazy. I would have never expected that. So I'm so glad that. Oh, yes. Quantum helmet. Awesome. I don't have to worry about bubbles. This. Yeah, that was just insane. Ooh, I know. So armor. we're down to level eight. Oh, and I can run fast down here, too. I'm just checking for iridium, which I don't see any. So yeah, quantum helmet is awesome. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. Well, I guess I'll get back when I get the comb moved. But I just thought that had to be shown because that was just awesome. Is that diamond? That's diamond. And I do have a silk touch. So here we go. All right, I'll be back. And we're back, and I've moved the comb, so there you go.
used to be there, and now it's here. This is what it looks like from up above. Change up the design a little bit. I'll go up higher so you can see. So now each little hexagon has its own hexagonic ring. I don't know if that's the right word. And uh, instead of being two layers on the outside as well, I'll just change it to one so the lighting's the same. And each one is only nine or eleven wide instead of thirteen wide. So it's got a little bit different shape. Added a middle there because I want to hide all the power. And before I go, um, we started on some farms over here. So you got nine farms. You got wheat, potatoes, carrots, going to be peat bog, pumpkin, watermelon, oak tree, nether wart, and rubber tree. Now I've been trying to figure this out. At first I thought I could do it with just a peat bog power and everything, but... I would need a way to refresh the dirt and the peat and or it was just too complicated. And so then I thought this would work. Pneumatic tubing would just pull it straight out because it it doesn't need a redstone engine because it comes out on its own. But no, it doesn't. It's a stupid relay right there. And I don't know how to freaking do this. So I guess I'm going to have to change it up. I'm going to have power. And we just went back to this design. I'm going to move that instead of on that side. It will be on this side. And then a relay will be here. Relay will be here. So the relay will pull into the relay. So that will grab the items maybe on the top or something. And then on the back side right here, items will come back up if they need to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some sorting machines, and the sorting machines, they're going to paint everything a color. I'm going to paint it all black. So we're going to paint everything here black. So on each of the relays, it's going to go to one sorting machine. That sorting machine is going to be painted, paint everything black that goes through it. However, that's going to be like right after the relay, so it'll paint it right away. And then that will go to this, there will be a sorting machine like right here probably, that, or there could just be a black, I guess that could just be black right there, right? And then everything has to go to the black, and then this would accept black, but yeah, I think that would actually work. But here's what we got so far. So we got four stacks of that, one of that, one of that, 32 of that, 34, 17, 25, 37, 90, 39, 113, 22. Uh, oops, thought about doing a mushroom farm, not going to anymore. Four, 22, and one. That's pretty nice. I'm liking that. And this design Calum came up with was awesome. I came up with the flooring, except for the outside. I love this. And he also came up with the jungle wood. I mean, awesome build. I did this. I don't think it quite matches this very well. But, uh, yeah. Looks nice. So that'll be it for this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I've, I've spanned the recordings on this episode about three to four days because I just have not been on lately so uh again I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time